Hello, I'm Haley. I'm from the Pasadena Public Library. This is a intermediate drawing of Hogwarts. So this is Harry Potter fan art. All you will need is a pencil and an eraser. So first I did draw more of a v-shape with leveled off sides to um, give the look of the cliffs and like a little valley in between. Um, hopefully you can see that. I know it's a little bit light. And then on top of the left top of the cliff, I am drawing little arches. Um, that will be the bottom of a tower. Um, the arches, they're very simple. I'm just making uh, little boxes mainly um, with arches inside of them. Once I do finish these arches, I am going to put a large tower on top of them. So it's just going to be cylinder shaped. You can draw a rectangle with just a cone on the top uh, if that helps you visualize what it's going to look like. And um, I'm also going to add little windows on it and other little details. Feel free to add um, to your tower. And as I am drawing this, feel free to pause it and just look at it um, at certain moments, depending on where you are, and change up any elements that you want to make it um, creative to your own drawing style. So I have finished drawing the first um, tower, and um, I'm going to start on the second tower, which will be on the right-hand side. For this second tower, I'm going to make it a little bit different than the first one. It's going to be more tall and circular. Um, yet again, if you don't want to add in these windows and some of the smaller details on it, you don't have to. Um, you can personalize it however you'd like. Now that I am basically finished drawing the outline of this second tower, I'm going to go in and start drawing some of the square windows, some arches um, towards the top of it, and um, just some other lines on it to add some extra detail.
Now that I have finished the two towers, I'm gonna go in and start drawing a bridge between the two of them with arches. You'll definitely need to pause here um, to catch up, so feel free to pause and simply look at what I've done so far to catch up before we start moving into the buildings in the background. Okay, so now I am starting in on the buildings between the two big towers. So I'm just going to be drawing some houses and some smaller towers, maybe even a little bridge. These can be pretty detailed, so if you don't want to add in any of the windows or like um, just additional detail, feel free to keep them out to make it look more simple. But if you like the details, go ahead and add them in. So now that I have finished one of the main buildings between the two towers, um, I am going to add in some smaller towers along with just some other buildings. There will be some arches, potentially a bridge, and this will just make it look like there is an entire city back there and um, add to the overall look of the Hogwarts town. I have finished one of the towers in the village and now I'm making an arch right next to the tower on the right. If this arch is too difficult or you don't want to do it, feel free to replace it with another tower. Um, but if not, feel free to draw it and just follow along.
I have basically um, completed the entire village. I know it doesn't totally look complete yet, but I haven't drawn the moon and there still needs to be shading. Um, of course you don't have to do shading, it is um, a lot of work I will say, but um, I'm just going to start m moving on to the moon now and drawing Harry Potter flying over the city. So for drawing Harry Potter, I did just draw a broom. You can just draw like a line um, with like a triangle at the end and make it look more spiky. And then I just tried to draw his figure of him wearing a robe and his head and his like feet and arms attached um, to give it like the look that it looks like he is um, flying on a broomstick. And then I did just shade him in so he would stand out and um, look like a silhouette in the sky. Now that I have finished doing Harry Potter, I am moving down to the cliffs that the towers in the village are on. I'm just adding in some squiggly lines. You don't have to copy exactly what I did. You can um, feel free to change it to whatever you feel looks best. Um, but I did just draw um, squiggly or like straight lines to show dimension inside of the rocks. So we are entirely done with our Hogwarts village. Feel free to stop here if you're not going to move on to the shading portion, but if you do want to do the shading, um, continue. So for the shading portion, um, the best choice is to pause the video here and either do your own shading if you have a preference or follow mine. Um, I think the shading in the moon and adding some little dots in the sky really helps, um, especially on the rocks and in the valley. So just pause here to complete um, all of the shading. And that is it for this Hogwarts fan art um, picture. Feel free to add anything else if you want to, but that is all. Thank you so much.